video guys it's Cyclix and today I'm going to be showing you how Vino, a relatively underrated pro, placed second in solo FNCS this past week. So right now it's second zone, he's got decent surge tags, he's got quite good loot and alright mats and he's in zone as well. I believe he's someone on the edge of Bounty, right? Yeah, and now he could probably do with more tags for Star and Surge, but he runs in and tries to go for a play just to set him up fully for end game. And he manages to get a tag on that guy when he's not expecting it. Um, he goes for the trade, the guy misses because of the angle, and he gets up. And now straight after he gets a big hit on this other guy, but he just can't quite close it down and decides to chill, which is probably the best play in that situation. Oh. Now he's miles above Storm Surge and he's just go drop quickly and get the mats whilst piecing it off to make sure it's secure which is quite a good play he probably should have swapped his AR out but it's not that big of a deal now he's had set up for end game with like 138 builds but it does get tagged up a little bit as he tries to go up here and now he's just up on height I think and he's just sort of chilling up here then he goes forward let me run that back actually he's rotating and he sees an opportunity for a snipe and goes for it. That's a huge refresh because most importantly there's a chug cannon and a launch pad there as well as more mats so he uses his hands to get over there so he's protected. And but now he's very stacked, max everything whatever. So he's tapping forward so he can get in zone. And right now he's probably the furthest back on his side of zone and he drops all his mass to pick it up in zone and that's a very good refresh for him and he has lots of mats now like max of everything and he's set himself in up very well to win and now he's tapping in making sure he's re-farming and he's getting water ballooned for some reason but anyway he's in a good spot but he is edge zone so that means he probably will have to move that's the worst part about his uh, placement here so he pulls pretty much worst case scenario max zone and he needs to probably launch pad this um, see if he can recycle a pad so he's looking right now which is a good idea just to see which rotates freest and all that so right now he's on 63 points and he needs a big game to put himself in a good spot he knows that and it's exactly what he does by just playing end game well that's the importance of a good end game so he marks zone he gets ready to go and he uses old builds as cover which is a very good idea for saving marks then he just builds up blocks the angles and gets tagged up quite heavily here and so do the people around him 
So instead of panicking and overbuilding, he just kills, uses chug cannon and gets himself back up to something like max HP. And now he's still got a pad, he's got 115 builds. And he's now got himself further ahead so he can't get held more by the people in front of him. At yeah, in front of him. And then he just gets jumped on and probably should have expanded out maybe, but he just goes for it, gets the crack and decides, hey, this is a pretty free refresh opportunity and just goes up for it and gets it all on by on Bayern. So that's a very good refresh for him. Uh, he finally gets that blue AR, which is quite good for him. And now he's just tapping. This is something you should always aim to do if the spare mats on the body and you're going into end game. Tap yourself ahead using the hard mats on the body, which is quite a good idea because you're getting yourself in a better position not spending any of your mats. Right here, I think he pulls a 50 50. So he's just in a perfect spot right now he doesn't need a pick or whatever he's got the chug cannon he's got minis he's got a pad he's got good loot he doesn't need to take any dumb risks and so now he's just looking to see if he can hold anyone which could help him with his surge later on not that he really needs it he's got three of them so he should be safe on that front And he's just looking and looking and looking and tries to spray a kid but decides it's not worth and just holds off. When he resets he makes sure he has an extra layer of protection so if he starts getting sprayed instead of it going through a really weak tile it's actually fine and doesn't go through a really weak tile and actually is a very effective tactic in preventing damage after resetting or you could hold a blueprint out for that and now v Vino has lots of mats he's in a very good spot and he's got Zo. so he goes back up in his cone to just have a look really see if there's any picks or if he can go for height or whatever and at this point I probably wouldn't go for height as they're strongly connected and built out of metal and also fairly high so it's probably not worth it and then zone pulls so he needs to get the launch pad off if he can or recycle a pad but what he does here is he recognises hey this is really free I can get ahead here using little to no mats and he even increases his map count by farming on the way and then it, now he's on front dead side with no one following him he's in a very good position and obviously he's miles above storm so because he set himself up so well and then he waits till the very last second pads and this is something I don't often see players doing he goes back into zone because he's got the chug cannon to use another pad to put himself in a better position. He does that again. Remember, he can heal up with just two ticks from the chug cannon. And he goes and does it for a fourth time and then just uses the chug cannon to heal himself back up. But he does he does take some hits, but he's on a mid to high layer, which is probably a good spot to be in and now he decides I'm going to let my chug cannon charge up for end game so I can play for heal off which is probably the smartest decision he could have made at that point and he just gets himself ahead quite, quite cheaply but he does get tagged a little bit there so he just minis up and whatever he heals he's on front side he's got, he's got better marks than most people and gets a nice beam on that guy and eventually gets it 
uh, but he dro he drops into zone quickly to pick up the mats, which is quite a good play because he's got the chug cannon again. It's only two ticks to get him back up. And at this point, he's got about 38 builds, so he's doing all right. He's just under height, and then zone pulls back, so he does the right thing and looks down to see if he can do anything before just checking his tarp. And then he realizes how free height is and gets a hard beam on height, cracks him, tags him, fakes him white. So he goes up, and then. He's got about 20 odd builds to hold height with, but he connects and he makes sure to stay on the layer that he's connected to. And he probably should have sprayed down a little bit here, but that's something he didn't do that could maybe be improved on for future games for him and something that you can take inspiration from. But anyway, he's miles up actually there is quite a lot of builds clogging it but he's quite high up if he sees someone he can just pressure them he's very uncontested up here and he's just like dominating up here gets, gets a good crack on that guy now it's a top 7 situation and he can drop down here and save a little bit of mats. He gets a crack on Thomas HD, then Thomas dies to fall. Maybe could have dropped to get the mats, but I doubt it. And now he's just spraying down. He's got limited mats. He's got uh, seven builds left, and it's a 1v1v1. And he's just pressuring. Eventually, he does drop, but he wastes his mats in the wrong spot places puts himself in the wrong spot and v Vino manages to kill Nebs to uh, to zone and Nebs wins so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed and um, yeah thanks for watching bye